In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, come with me as I go to all the thrift stores looking for items for the new store. Some for the shelves, some for the windows, but all equally good. And some will even end up in tonight's online sale. So you're going to want to make sure you stick around because at the end of the video, there will be a full preview of all the things that are going to be in tonight's online shopping. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and dive into this week's episode of Flea Market Rescue. One quick note before we get started, though, I just want to welcome you if you're new here to Flea Market Rescue. My name's Kelly Sherry, and I do a lot of home decor makeovers and furniture flips. Also, I love taking you along as we go thrifting, garage selling, and flea marketing. So if you're interested in learning how to do some of this and you love a great shopping adventure, then I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. So for those of you who don't know, I recently signed papers on a building which we're going to turn into a store. We're hoping to be open in March, but there is a lot of work to do, including getting items for the store. So this week I went to all the thrift stores looking for things that would look great in the store. And I was thinking of you guys too for online shopping. So I think I found some really great things and I can't wait to share them with you. I came across these great flowers at the Salvation Army in Utica. I thought these were perfect for our little garden section that we're gonna do. I'm not quite sure what the price is, but we're just gonna put them in the basket and we'll figure it out at the counter. Always keep an eye out for great greenery and flowers because you can add them to different like pots and vases that you might pick up. So always keep an eye out for them and buy them when they're at a good price. I'm really liking this pot here. Yeah, see, it has like that garden kind of look. It almost looks like a cracked stucco, something old. We might have to get this. As a matter of fact, I did end up buying it and I added it with those flowers we bought, which were $1.99 by the way, and they paired well together. It was like they were meant for each other, wouldn't you say? Oh, look at that hiding back there. This is kind of cute. But I, you know what, I don't know if the greenery looks a little too fake, so I'm just going to kind of leave that one there. The next thing I came across were these hearts, and I could totally see them in a window, couldn't you? And one thing I loved about this building, it had beautiful windows. So I totally could see that hanging in there, decorated for Valentine's Day. Yep, you know we got to get these too. This is an interesting little box. It looks like it's for Christmas. It says North Pole on it. You'd put your cookies in there. Well, we'll just think about it. This would probably make a good sign. All right, I'm not really seeing anything here. All right, this would be good for napkins. At least that's what I think it's for. But why does that have that little clip? All right, if you don't know, move on. And that's what we're gonna do. Now this is really cute. I like this. This would be great for an office. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is so cute. Yeah, we gotta get this. Oh my gosh, I cannot even believe this is here. Look at how old this is. It has the glass. Oh, I can't even, There's. it's a no-brainer. We have to put it in the cart. I'm really liking this lantern. I love the natural wood and the metal. It would look good in our garden room. Yeah, this is really nice. It is $14.95 though, but I'm gonna get it because I definitely could double my money, I think. Now this is pretty cute with the bird, but you know what? I There's something about shells. I don't really like when things have shells on them, even furniture. I guess it reminds me of the 80s, so it kind of looks dated, but this does have a shell and we are not gonna get it because of that. Now I'm really liking this pumpkin here. It's made out of paper mache. 
hmm, you know, I'm just, I'm not in the, like, seasons mode right now. I'm more like garden, home decor, not season, but I'm still going to take a look here because this white pumpkin over here is catching my eye. It's kind of chipped up though, so I may pass on that. All right, let's just take a look because maybe there's something there for Easter. That welcome sign with the carrots, that's pretty cute. This reminds me of something from Pottery Barn. I saw this here two weeks ago. It's so cute, but it has a chip in it, and who's buying a porcupine anyway? I don't know. And if I don't know, then I'm not going to take the gamble on it. But I think it's so stinking cute. Oh wow, this would fit in our garden room perfectly. Ooh, oh, okay, so there's a label on the other side. But you know what, I think I could get that off. I really don't care for that label, but this is a very nice planter. I think I'll get it. Oh my gosh, I was not in the season mood until I saw this. I can see this as a Christmas blanket. It's brand new and I definitely want it. I'm trying to get to this basket because I really like this basket. The thing I don't like is it's kind of just sitting there smashed. So I'm almost thinking that's the form it's going to stay in. So I might have to pass on this. Now I always like going through this because you never know what you're going to find. I almost got that until I realized that it was just particle board. There's no wood frame. It's just all one slick piece. Now this is kind of cool. It almost looks like antlers, but very wild looking antlers. Well, as cool as this is, I think I'm going to pass on that. All right, we did pretty good here. I'm going to head to the checkout and we'll hit another Salvation Army. So I headed to the Salvation Army in Shelby Township and right away in the window, I noticed this rooster. It's $12.99, which is really a good price for that. However, I do have quite a few chickens and roosters, so I did pass on this, but now I'm kind of kicking myself. Maybe I should have gotten it. But I did end up getting these little babies. I love them. They're cast iron. They're perfect for like if you want to put a little plant on them. Would They would just make an awesome display. They're heavy. They're royal. I just love them. Wow, what an ornate candle holder. Sadly, I didn't get this. I don't know why. But if it was painted white and then you just kind of distressed it a little, it would be really cool. These tiles are really nice. You could do the exact same thing. You could paint it white. You could take a little sandpaper and distress it. Just like my mom did with that one tile. Do you guys remember that? That turned out absolutely gorgeous. Oh, we must get this. It wasn't until I got to this aisle and I saw this. I was like, oh my gosh, I hit the jackpot. It's white enamel. It has glass jars, greenery, and these candles light up. It's gorgeous. Then I came across this eat sign and I was like, oh my gosh, I am on a roll. I have to get this. This is absolutely perfect. Oh my gosh, just look how precious. And it's only $3.99. How can I not? Look at how adorable this is. That is not my nutty buddy, by the way. Someone left that in the cart. I have been on such a nutcracker kick ever since I saw them painted in gold for Christmas. Every time I see one, I have to get it. I went to put him in the basket and then I realized he didn't have a nose and I already bought one that didn't have a nose. Sure, I could fix that, but I was just like, what are you doing? Why are you buying all these nutcrackers? So I put him back. I mean, how many nutcrackers does one person need? 
That's an interesting base. It's this horse that's really catching my eye. Do you guys remember when I did that little horse all in white? It turned out great and it sold so fast. Well, after looking at it, I was like, I don't know, should I get it, should I not? And I was so indecisive, I just put it back. Maybe I should have gotten it, oh well. But what I did get, I got this ornate candlestick. This was really cheap and I thought, wow, I like this and it can sell. So I put it in the basket. I looked at this one too, but this one was a little more expensive, so I just put it back. I really like this basket, and it was only $3.99, but the only thing was, it was small, so I really wouldn't make very much money on it. I just saw something. Look at this tall white tree. I'm in love. I love it. There's no price on it, but we're going to take it up to the front, because I think I have to have this. These are some awesome little witch hats. Back in the day when I did crafts, I always had these kind of witch hats. So you know what? You never know what you're gonna put them on. So let's just get them while we find them. Yep, I'm gonna be glad that I got them when it's Halloween. I always keep my eye out for nice flowers or greenery because when I see it, I just pick it up. These I liked, but then I was like, I'm not sure what would I put them in. I probably could have put them in some kind of pitcher or a vase, but I didn't end up getting these, unfortunately. Now these balls are always nice to get because I do a lot of filler bowls. I'll get a wood bowl, I'll paint it black, and these are nice to add in there. They're very inexpensive, and it's great to pick them up when you find them. I think the natural ones in here are pretty nice too. Well, it was getting late and we found everything that we possibly could find there. So I decided to call it a day and there was always tomorrow. The next day I headed out to the Salvation Army in Rochester. Right away I came across this bloom sign which I thought was really cute and would make a great garden sign. If you guys know me, you know that I love the wood aisle. Again, I am like a moth to the flame when it comes to the wood aisle. Oh my gosh, I am loving this mustache. We're gonna have to get this. This would be awesome in a boy's room. This is cool. However, it is $8 and it's a smaller kind of tote. Now this needs some work, but if I painted this and put like an old kind of photo, this would be a seller. These are kind of cool old utensils. Oh, I just spotted a winner here, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's a home sign on this old shutter. And it's oval yet too. Yeah, for $12.99, this is worth it all day long. We might have to replace the wreath, but no big deal at all. I think this might be my best find so far. Now this would be a nice holiday pillow that would blend well with your stuff on the holidays. With that being said, it needs a limp brush and it needs to be thrown in the washer. But for $3.99, it's a great pillow. So that's about it that I found at this store. So I decided to head to another one. This is the Salvation Army in West Bloomfield. 
You know how I love white pitchers. This was a smaller pitcher, but it was $9.99, and I thought that was a little bit expensive. I came across this little bird cage. I thought it was really cute, but I couldn't find a price on it, and then I noticed the top was kind of mangled, so I just kind of passed on it. However, it was cute, but I didn't like it enough that I wanted to bring it up the counter, find how much it was, and then I still had to straighten out the top. And out of the blue, I found this little table. I cannot believe it. The wood top is excellent. I love the trim, and I think it's from World Market. Oh, you know it's already in my basket. There isn't a price, but we're gonna find out. Then I came across this chair for $24.95, and I thought it'd be great in the workroom. And I also came across this chicken. How cute is that? The table ended up being $24.95, so I got that. I got the chair and the chicken, and now it is time to move on. We're going to Wald Lake. The store is always awesome. We always find great stuff here. The first thing I found was this Ray Dunn clock. I felt like I was winning already. When I saw this large frame, I thought, oh my gosh, let me take this down. I cannot wait to see this. It was brand new, but they wanted $19.99 for it. So although I put it in my cart, before I left, I actually put it back on the shelf. I just really didn't want to spend $20 for it. This tote felt really light, and then it had a bottle opener on the side, so I was like, uh, I'm just going to pass. I saw these houses the last time I was there, so they obviously haven't sold. And I kind of think it's just because they have this weird bar at the bottom. Now, why that's there, I'm not quite sure, but that's the reason I didn't buy them. So maybe that's the reason why other people didn't buy them either. Now I probably should have bought this. It's sort of like the horse thing I showed you earlier. However, this is a cow and I wasn't quite sure if that would be a big seller or not. This pail has the right look. This is perfect for Christmas, so I'm gonna get it. I really like this one too, and this would look good in the garden area. I almost totally overlooked this, but this is a long bench. It just has Formica on it. It's only $13, and again, this is really long. I think I can get this Formica off and look at the wood underneath. The only thing I was concerned about is can I get this in my car? I have a table, I have a chair, and now this long bench. But you'll be happy to know that yes, I was able to get it in. I just had to move things around. I was really surprised. This is really all I found at the Wald Lake Salvation Army this time. So let's go ahead and we'll keep moving. I found even less stuff here at this Goodwill in Wald Lake. When I came across this bag, I really loved the type lettering on it. I thought it was so cool. It almost reminded me of those bags that were in Springfield. Do you guys remember that? They were so cool and she was selling them like hotcakes. But then when I turned this bag over, it had all this red writing on it. It was just so in your face. I didn't really care for that. If it had just been that writing, I would have got this bag and the other bag behind it. I did find this big bottle type vase. Now, I found one of these at Target. It was much smaller. It was from Hearth and Hand, and I paid $15. And this one is huge, and it's only $4.99. How can I pass it up? But that's really all I found there. So as I was heading home, I thought, you know what? I'm going to stop in Waterford.
This is the St. Vincent de Paul in Waterford, and I came across this rug. Look at the colors in it. They're absolutely beautiful. I totally could see this during Christmas. I'm gonna wash that, I'm gonna roll it up, I'm gonna put a nice piece of jute around it, and we're gonna sell it. Now, although this was the only thing I bought there, I had something really fun happen. I ran into one of the viewers, her name is Melody, and I am just kicking myself I didn't get a photo with her. But she said she was going to come to the store when we opened, so I will definitely get a picture with her then. Literally five minutes away from the St. Vincent de Paul is White Lake Salvation Army, so I had to stop. And that's where I came across this beautiful bee print. Now I think this is a really cool padded photo board and it's brand new too, so I bought it. Right after that, I came across this eat, drink, and be merry sign, and I can see that hanging up during Christmas in my shop, so I had to buy that too. Now, I was getting tired, so I started to head home, but then I pushed myself to go to just one more thrift store. I ended up right where I was the day before. Yes, I stopped back at the Utica Salvation Army because they put stuff out daily, and I thought, okay, I'm just gonna check and see if there was anything new that they put out. Well, 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 what do they have here? This wasn't out yesterday. I'm loving this box. It has the right look and it's like a French saying. So we might have to get this for the garden room. $3.99, yeah, that sounds like we're getting it. I just gotta get all these red lobster glasses out of here and we're good as gold. I really like this metal and sign. I'm gonna have to add it to our collection. Although I normally get stuff that has roosters and chickens, I thought this was a bit much. But that's one gorgeous stand that it's on. At first I seen these stools and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want them. And then I seen those long backs on them and I was like, oh, maybe I don't. That's a great Halloween tree. I'll tell you, see, I did not see any of this yesterday. Although this is really dark, people love dough bowls. So I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna sand it and I'm gonna make it look awesome. Yep, I remember seeing all this yesterday. Ooh, but this was not here yesterday. I just might have to get this. Oh, now this is so pretty. I can see like you putting like utensils in there, wooden ones. Yeah, and look at they had a smaller one. We got to get them both. Oh, look at this little cutie patootie. What is this? I don't get it. It looks like books that are made out of galvanized steel and they're all joined together. I'm really not sure what the purpose of this is. Hmm, it looks cool, but I, again, I don't know what it's for. All right, here's some of those pumpkins that we saw yesterday. I don't remember seeing this blue one though. This is the littlest rocking chair I've ever seen. It has a broken board here and I just don't feel like fixing it. Not to mention, I already have another rocker that I need to paint. Ooh la la, look at this candlestick. No, not the leaves, this ornate one behind it. If I can get to it, I'll show you. Oh, 
Oh, it's heavy. Wow, look at this. This is just like grand. I normally do really well with buffalo check throws, but this one has little like bumps on it and I'm not quite sure about this. There's actually two of them here, but I think I'm just gonna pass on these. I really like this pot back here and it looks like it has some dried sweet annie in it. It's cute. I think I'm gonna get it. Oh, looky here, just in time for Easter. You know, I'm not sure about this. I don't know if it will be a good seller or not. So I'm probably gonna leave it on the shelf, but I think we did pretty good here today. I hope you enjoyed this thrifting trip and next week we will be making over all of these. So stay tuned for a brand new Trash to Treasure. Now let's take a little preview of what's gonna be tonight on online shopping. All right, you guys, do I have the stuff or what for you tonight? I have tons of things available that will be for sale at five o'clock today. So let's just kind of go over them. I'm gonna start off with this little bee butter dish. It's so cute. It has a little bee on top. It has a honeycomb pattern on the dish itself, and it says, be happy. Super cute. Um, let's see what else. I have this rack or should I say like, um, it has hooks, you can hang it. It's made out of metal and it's an antique white. It's really nice. It actually is really complimentary to this one here. This one here is like, you know, one of those ceiling tiles. It's really heavy. You can put it on your wall. You can add it with things that have the same kind of color. Um, then we have this gratitude sign. This gratitude sign has handles. It's almost like a gratitude board, I should say. We have a Ray Dunn clock. It works perfectly. It's brand new. It has the sticker still on it. Then we have this rooster pitcher. Underneath that, we have a home sweet home tray, which has wooden handles. So we have that available too. Then I have this metal tobacco tray that has a wreath and a sheep in it. You can hang it on the wall. I have this cast iron chair. It's so heavy, it's royal, it just looks so exquisite. And you can put like a plant on it. I actually have two of those. The other one's hiding somewhere, yep, right over here. So I have two available. Then we have the lavender. They're in little pots that are attached to one another. I also have this great looking buffalo check pitcher. When I saw it, I was like, I gotta get this. I love it. Then I have an antique rolling pin. This antique rolling pin has a wire hanger so you can hang it on the wall. Then there's this little bird cage. It's so sweet. It has a little bird and you do get this little plant that comes along with it. I also have this pear. This pear is very heavy. It would look great on a coffee table. I love the finish on it. It's really neat. Um, then I have this white enamel. Let me get this out of the way here. I have this white enamel tray that comes with greenery and also glass jars that have little candles in them. The candles do light up. I already put a battery in them and tested them, so they work perfectly. Also, I have this distressed and sign and it has a wonderful emblem on it. You could hang that in your bedroom if you want or the living room. Then my mom, she had this long, type pail and she added some spring flowers. So she has that available. We have this tray here, um, a tote I should say, for the garden. Um, I also have this padded chandelier photo holder. Then I have this wonderful heavy white, I don't know, decorative piece that you can put like on a shelf. It can hold books. It's just um, a really nice piece. See, then I have this laundry sign. It would be awesome in your laundry room. 
it's a bigger sign and it's enamel. Then we also have this eat sign. I'm sure you saw that in today's video. It's all made out of metal. It's a large eat sign. I also have this bloom sign, bloom where you're planted it says. And that would be great in the garden or on a porch. We can't forget that bee padded photo board. It has wonderful graphics on it and it is brand new. Let's see what else. Then my mom has this wonderful wooden candlestick. It's very large and she's throwing in this greenery ball. Now you don't have to use the greenery ball, but she is giving that to you. You can put a candle on top. It comes right off, as you can see, see? So either you can have it or you don't need it. Then let me make my way over here to kind of show you the bird cage. So here is that bird cage. This bird cage is super cool. It has two votive candles in it. It has two birds. It's all metal and it's a really nice size. Also, I had to throw in the mustache sign. So if you have like sons or you have a grandson, I thought it'd be really cute in their room. So this is what we have for tonight's sale. Oh wait, for almost forgot one. Remember that very ornate candlestick? I have that, it's very heavy and I am throwing in the candle with it. So there you go. I hope to see you at five o'clock tonight. So all this stuff will be available to purchase at five o'clock on my website. I wouldn't wait a long time because last month when I had the sale within 15 to 20 minutes, most everything was sold. There was only a few things left. So um, also I wanna mention that if you buy more than one thing, if you buy like two or three things, I will gladly combine shipping. If the website doesn't do it for you, I will definitely go in and refund the difference. So don't worry about shipping, just have fun. And at five o'clock again, everything that you see here will be on the website. Hope to see you there. Well, that's it for this episode of Flea Market Rescue. If you like this episode and you wanna see more episodes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry and this has been Flea Market Rescue.